Technology, the voice of technology talk here in St. Louis. I'm Tristan. And I'm Tyler. And this is your technology news for the day. In recent news, Hillsbor uh, Netflix recently closed its Hillsboro facility, uh, laying off hundreds of workers after it turns out that they don't really use DVDs anymore. Yeah, they, used to go, they used to go only by DVDs to order from Netflix, but now everything's going into online streaming. <laughs> Who uses DVDs anymore, huh? I mean, everybody uses DVDs for, for said movies, but as far as online streaming goes, everybody is... Uh, I mean, we don't need DVDs anymore. It's all, it's all just through the internet. I've done nothing but watch Archer for the past three days. And I've done nothing but watch Orange is the New Black. Very good. Piper Kerman, yeah. Now, today in the show, we have a really great interview. We actually have the CEO of Netflix right here in the studio to talk to us about the future of this amazing streaming medium. That's coming up in today's show. You don't have to be embarrassed with hemorrhoid problems any longer. The Midwest Hemorrhoid Treatment Center offers the latest in non-surgical treatment, infrared coagulation. It's painless, fast, effective, covered by most insurance, and allows patients to go back to their normal routine immediately. Make the call now and get on with your life. Midwest Hemorrhoid Treatment Center. Don't suffer in silence. On North New Ballas Road in Creepcore, call 314-991-9888 today. Welcome back to the TNT Show. We're here tonight with Wilmot Reed Hastings Jr. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we're not doing too bad. We're just uh, we've been studying Netflix for a little bit, and we uh, figured who better to talk about Netflix than the man who created it? Well, it's great to be here in the studio. I've got some beautiful people around you. It's just it's a really great place. I'm really glad to be here. All right. Well, we're gonna cut right to the chase. Uh, I got a question for you. What's going on? All right. Uh, what what do you think sets Netflix apart from standard cable? Well, we allow people the ease to just access their shows whenever they want. And we're not necessarily doing the cookie-cutter sitcoms. We're not doing the basic cable shows. We're doing new and interesting ideas, stuff like House of Cards and Orange is the New Black. They're award-winning shows that usually wouldn't be able to get past advertisers, but we've got that nice little, part, nice little niche market where we don't have to deal with them, and we can do whatever we want and put out whatever content we want as long as we entertain the people that are subscri subscribed to us. Do you think that's what, set, what uh, people look for, is less advertising? I think it helps. People really like this idea of binge-watching. It's really hot right now. So people can just lock down and just watch a show straight on through and just get content and not be bogged down by all this advertisement being thrown in their face. Okay. Now, Willie, i got to ask. You set up this freaking global empire of video. How did you do it? What, where did you come from? How did you get this all going the way it is? Well, I mean... I've always said that I have really four keys to my success. With Netflix, we were looking to target specific niche markets, not looking for the broad audience, but looking for those special little markets that we can weasel into and make great fandoms out of. We also want to stay flexible. Our instant queue has really become very popular and allows us to reach all sorts of different audiences that we couldn't before. We don't underestimate the competition. We understand companies like Hulu and Amazon Fire are very prevalent in the market, but we're willing to compete with them and battle with them for everything we can. And of course, we never take any shortcuts. We're always there for the long haul, and we're always pushing for the best. All right, that is Reed Hastings, Jr. Uh, we're going to take a little break before we head back and uh, close out for today. Uh, thanks, guys. Really appreciate having you on the show. Oh, uh, thank you. He wakes up, sniffs around, looks for great deals all over town. He's Sweet Jack, he's Sweet Jack, he's SweetJack.com. He searches in all places, really hot deals are what he chases. Amazing what he digs up. Was Wilmot Reed Hastings Jr. Great guy. Went to college with him. Crazy drinker. He parties. That's what we love about him. Such a great influence on our youth, right? Oh, he was. He uh, he inspired me to be what I am today. Anyways, Netflix. <laughs> We all love Netflix. Really great time. Really great guy. Uh, but that's all the time we have for our tech talk today. So now we're going to go into our music break. But when we when we come back, we are going to discuss this latest round of celebrity leaks. It come, draws to mind the question: fun and games or major invasion of privacy? We'll find out. Woo woo! <laughs> 